In today's video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of a beautiful new home here in Cedar City. It's located on the south end of town. This is a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, sits on about 0.2 acres, newly built in 2024, and it's going for right around $445,000 at the time of this tour. I'm gonna to walk you through, show you how beautiful this is, and just give you an idea of what the outside looks like inside and all around the house. All right, let's get to it. We are gonna start out front so you can see the beautiful elevation of this home and where it is located in the neighborhood. This is in the subdivision Talon Point at South Mountain. You can see it is a planned unit development, meaning there are sidewalks, gutters, a developer came in and developed the lots, and then it was a bring your own builder and build homes. That is very typical of Cedar City. You can see Shirts Canyon in the distance, so it has beautiful mountain views. You know it's not going to be blocked because the neighborhood has been built out. It already has the homes all around it. There is a little bit of a side yard here. You can do a little bit of parking, but I wanted to give you a front view so you can see how beautifully landscaped it is. It does have a two-tone paint, stone up the front with different types of siding as well. Now, if you would like to buy, sell, or invest here in Cedar City, Utah, my name is Elizabeth Prisby. I'm with Stratum Real Estate Group, and I would love to help you out with that. Please feel free to call, text, or email me anytime. My contact information is down below in the description. You'll notice it is very bright. They have used very natural colors. The flooring is an LVP, luxury vinyl plank, very natural wood color that's very durable. Even the walls are a very natural tone, can pull either the gray or the beige, I like to call it grayish. The coat closet has double doors that do swing open. You can see they've put some closet organizers in there, but a really clean, sleek look. As we enter the house, it does open up. It's a very open floor plan. You can see how bright it is. This is new construction built in 2024. We aren't seeing it furnished, but it, you still get an idea of how large the area is. What I love is that this island is two-toned or the kitchen is two-toned so the kitchen is white the island is a slate gray color which i love countertops are a white quartz it does come with all appliances except for the refrigerator so you'll get your range you'll get your microwave dishwasher but then they've used this beautiful subway tile that's been accented by the black handles we also have a beautiful walk-in pantry here that does have a light i didn't take the time to turn it on though but plenty of space for a single family home here in the kitchen it is very open and what i love is that the cabinets go up to the top of the ceiling there is a nice crown molding to really just give it that finished look and it extends the ceiling and makes it feel even larger i also love that they have the sink in the island there is a garbage disposal button you can see there accented in black which really makes it pop now there is a dining area over here pretty open nice light fixture hung over where the table would be they also have these large picture windows you can see the home to the right of you is quite close however you can go in and put a retaining wall in there. A lot of people will go in and they will put a wall between yourself and the neighbor and they'll ask if the neighbor wants to split the cost. The other two walls are already in. And what I want you to see is that you can see those beautiful mountains in the distance. Nothing else is going to be blocking those views. So think about how beautiful that'll be when the snow is hitting the top of those. Just beautiful. But again, I would recommend, or if it were me, I would put a wall in there just to create privacy and make sure that if I have young kids, they're not getting out. Backyard is not landscaped. However, it is flat an open canvas you don't have to take anything out before you put in what you're really wanting to see so we're going to head back inside and give you a better view of how large this area is if you look through that picture window you can see the street just beyond and see the neighbors you do have side yard over here as well Now this family room is pretty large. I don't feel like the video does it justice. You can fit an L-shaped sectional in here or two different couches and not feel like it's boxed in. Now we're gonna go past where the fridge is. There is a linen closet to the left here as we go back. They have put shelves in here to make it really clean. Give you a good look at that before we go down the hallway. 
Now we're heading towards the front of the house. This is where you're going to get your two bedrooms as well as your second bathroom. Bedrooms aren't too large, but they're large enough for a queen bed, some dressers. You can see they are out at the front of the house. This screen is making it hard to see out there, but gives you a feel of the neighborhood. Now this bedroom does have a walk-in closet. It already has the organizers in there. There is a light in there, giving you a lot more space in the room. As we head over to the second bedroom, these are of similar size. However, this one does not have the walk-in closet. It just has the slider, but it still has the organization in there already and it is set to go. So this is a perfect, I would say, starter home. Remember, it's three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. They've got tile in the bathroom here. Again, they've got those slate cabinets with the accented black fixtures that really just make it beautiful. That's a set in tub shower combo, but this whole section right at the front of the house, off the kitchen, separate from where you're going to find the owner's suite. So that does give you a little bit more privacy. We're gonna take it back out into the great room and head across the hall. This is going to be right of where we came in the entry. We'll take you into the laundry room here here, which I think they've done so nice. They've put a sink in here. There's a rod there so you can hang your clothes to dry. They've got a little shelf here. I'm not really sure what I put under there. Maybe a dirty clothes hamper, maybe a trash can, but they've really done a nice job of making the laundry room functional here. To the left of the laundry room is going to be the owner's suite. Now in here, they have utilized a barn door on the closet to give you that space so that you're not opening the door up into the room. They've got organizers on either side so that you have a his and her section in the closet, which makes it really nice and functional. Now your view here is going to be out the back window. Again, that screen is blocking the beautiful view, but you will be able to see those beautiful mountains as you are waking up. And of course, when you landscape that beautifully, that will be there as well. So the master bath or owner suite has a double vanity. It has those slate cabinets. I love that they put the drawers in the middle there. Sometimes I get so frustrated when they put just cupboards in bathrooms because I don't think they're as functional. You've got the linen space here and then the owner suite bathroom has a walk-in shower. This is a cultured marble which makes it really clean and sleek to wash and clean and gives it a nice look. It's a walk around. It has those black fixtures to really pop in here that I love. I am partial to the black fixtures and the slate cabinets. That's actually what I did in my own home. So I'm really loving the colors in this home. Now, if you are liking this home, I will put a link down below in the description so that you can get more information on this property. If this particular home is not available by the time you see this tour, please reach out. We'll still find you something that fits your wants and needs. Across from the master is is the two car garage right here we've got our mechanical area so you can see where the water heater is they've got it off the ground in a pan looking great just gives you a really good idea of what this looks like i love that it's drywalled painted and really clean all right, that finishes up our quick tour of this beautiful single family home here in Cedar City, Utah. Remember, if you are looking to buy, sell, or invest here in Cedar City, Utah, or really anywhere in Southern Utah, my name is Elizabeth Prisby. I'm with Stratum Real Estate Group, and I would love to help you out with that. Please feel free to reach out anytime. I promise you I will respond. All right, until next time, have a wonderful day.